YouTube, this is Practice Prepper. I just recently posted a video talking about how people should be more open to other ideas. Um, you know, give them a shot, even if they seem silly. Uh, and of course, in the comments, the idea of Flat Earth came up <laughs> somewhere. And uh, the person that mentioned it, but I don't, they, they weren't necessarily advocating it, they were just kind of mentioning it, whatever. Um, and uh, I was trying to explain a personal uh, experience I had that makes the whole idea of Flat Earth completely uncompelling to me. Um, and I thought it might be a little easier to do it in a video, and maybe other people might be interested also. Um, the big reason that I, that Flat Earth doesn't make much sense to me, aside from, like, you have to believe so many layers of conspiracy, and so many people would have to be in on it, um, you know, from private industry to governments all over the world and, and everything, it just, it seems like a, a degree of coordination that people don't tend to be very good at. But um, I also have personal, uh, first-hand, um, eyewitness accounts of, of why it doesn't seem to be true, and that's the idea about um, seeing things go over the, the um, uh, out of your sight line when they go over the edge of the earth. Now, when you're on land, you know, there's always the idea, well, there's a hill there, and, you know, there's something coming up over the hill. But um, when you're out in the ocean, the idea of things coming over the horizon is totally normal, constantly happening, completely uninteresting, really. It's just a routine part of navigating. You're always kind of scanning the horizon, looking for freighters and things you don't want to crash into. I've spent a decent amount of time out on the water, you know, far out on the water in, in uh, ships navigating. And um, the idea of things rising up over the horizon is, it's not a big event. It's not like, wow! <laughs> it's just, you know, it's part of your everyday uh, routine, just looking for things coming up. But I do have one interesting story where something was rising up out of the water. It was kind of... It was, it took a while to kind of figure out what the hell it was. Uh, it, there's my horizon line, and it started kind of like this. I'm a little chilly out here, so I'm shaking. I'm in my greenhouse, but it's like, it's a cool fall day in the greenhouse, and I'm dressed like it's summer. Um, so, here's my horizon line. Something started rising up, two things at the same time, and I was like, oh, well, that could be two ships or something like that. You don't usually see two next to each other like that. Um, but, you know, maybe it's two ships. And then it kept rising over the horizon line. And the strange thing was that it wasn't, it wasn't transmitting. Usually large freighters transmit uh, their position and their, and their direction, heading, speed, and everything like that uh, to everyone else. So you don't have to rely just on radar or, or your eyes to, to locate these things. But this wasn't transmitting any of that stuff. So, but some freighters don't, so it just kept kind of watching it. And then it, it joined in the middle, and then it looked like it was kind of like maybe two things, or like one boat with like two piles of stuff on either end. It was big, though, too. It was very, it was very large, so I was trying to figure out what what the heck this thing was. It didn't seem to be moving. It didn't have a heading. It was just sort of sitting there. And the weird part was when this happened, it started growing legs. <laughs> At that point, I was like, what the hell is that? I'm looking on charts, and there's no island or anything like that. It really looked like a building is what it looked like. But it wasn't. there was no island there on any of the charts. So oh, it's a further conspiracy theory here. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, but anyway, it kept rising and rising and rising. And then I remembered, I was in the Caribbean at the time, and that right there looks an awful lot like one of our clients that we did at marketing for. It's a gambling casino called Atlantis. And it's a very tiny island that I think was probably kind of manufactured, and that's why it's not really on any of the charts. It turned out it was Atlantis. It was this gambling casino. It's a, Atlantis rose out of the sea. Um, and that, that was what it was the whole time. But very clearly, started down here, moving up. It wasn't, it wasn't like it was small, like a little bit, and then it got bigger, and you get more detail, and you could see all the rest. It, when things are that far away, they don't approach you that, that quickly. But, but what you do see, the big difference you do see, is that you're starting to be able to see over the curvature of the Earth. And it comes up right like that, and then we sailed right on past it. But that was my personal experience watching something very, I mean, there were a million other personal experiences, but this one was interesting because I didn't know what the hell it was for a while. But yeah, Atlantis. There you go. That's it. Flat Earth. How about that? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.